pictures. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a triangular grid in Illustrator. So first things first, I've got the fill to be nothing or nil. Just over there, none. And also the stroke is set to black, one point. Let's go to the line segment tool and I'm just going to hold the shift key down. I'm just going to draw a line there. Okay. Now I'm just going to hold the alt key down and I'm just going to duplicate that quickly. Just drag it over there. Just quickly align it. So I'm just going to right, vertical align. So it's basically just a line exactly like that. Now go to the blend tool. Just going to double click that shows specified steps that's the key thing specified steps 20 click ok and just click there click there okay so you've now got these lines what i'm going to do next is i'm going to expand that expand okay right now i'm going to duplicate that again use the whole the alt key duplicate and the one i'm going to rotate 45 degrees so I'm just going to transform, rotate 45, and I'm going to rotate the other one. Transform, rotate minus 45. Okay, so now I've just got this grid. Now I'm just going to go over to the line segment tool again because I want, what I want is actually lines done this way. But I'm, obviously I've just got that little area there. I'm just going to use. So it's not going to be the Probably best to zoom in a little bit here, just so you can actually see the... And I'm just going to go there, intersect. Uh, it's on that line, and I'm just going to drag that down just there. Okay, so I've done that. And again, intersect. And drag down to that point. That be exact. So just Obviously, you want it to be on that line just down there so you want the intersect to be intersecting both that and that right now you've got that next thing the big trick not much of a trick to be honest is you've just got to count the gap so now you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine now multiply by two 18 and take one away so 17 so I'm just going to select one and now I go to the blend tool double click that and I'm going to set that to 17 okay that's the key thing that I say multiply it by obviously the gap times 2 minus 1 so now you've got that next thing to do and I'm just gonna select all those and I'm gonna to go to object expand And now expand again. Now, next thing to do is actually is to remove the. Well, actually, next thing I'm actually going to do is actually I'm going to go to over here, the rectangle tool, and just do that. Clip in object, clip in mask, make. Okay, so you've now got a fairly cleanish triangular grid. Now, could stop at this point. Obviously, you don't particularly want to. So I'm now going to go over to here, and I'm going to. This is the Pathfinder. You can't see that. It's Window Pathfinder and Crop. Right. Next thing to do, you want actually want to, and I'm just going to move that. Ungroup. Now if I actually go there, you'll actually see all basically, you just don't see anything. You don't want that, obviously. So edit, undo, add. The key thing here is you want to select just an empty square. Set that. No fill, no stroke. Now select same fill and stroke. Delete. Right. Now you have a nice grid and that's it it's actually just a fill 
with a standard fill. So if you set the color, say, say to red, yeah. Now, I'm going to go a bit further than this. I'm just going to now go back to black. And I'm just going to cool, squeeze it in just so you can actually see the. You can actually now go to the live paint bucket and just say select some colors. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to change that just a bit. And yeah, fill that one. Fill that one and fill that one. And there you have it. You can obviously now just do the same again with the other colours and just fill in the entire and of course you can create this pattern all the way through. I'm not going to go through all that those steps for each of the colour schemes to create a triangular grid. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.